Perhaps you are aware of the Cursi Bear. Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill. Set 3, I believe it is. And today we are going to fight the first boss. There's Harry running with a handgun. Alright. This is not my first take of this intro because the first time I turned the game on, uh, it was obscenely dark. Not on the recording, but I could barely see anything on my screen. So, that would make it pretty tough to play, honestly. So, let's see. I need to get back upstairs. And then run along there. Alright. One thing I promised I'd do is a friend of mine, uh, Phoenix Tsukino, who you may know from a uh, cooperative Let's Play that I did with her of uh, Alter Ego, has put together some shop thing on a website. Uh, I'm not really sure how to describe it. She could describe it better. She's put up a video of it. And so I'll probably link you to that video. And, uh, basically, she needs a bit of extra cash, and this is how she's making it. And, yeah. So you guys could do me a favor by doing her a favor and helping her out with that. So, be sure to check the description of this video, and I should have put a link to the video where she explains it much better than I just did. Uh, there. Anyway. Let's move on. The lock is jammed. Alright. Now, before I get massacred, I want to just check how much ammo... Enough. Die! Yes, if the audio glitch comes up this uh, set, I will be showing it. Because a lot of people are curious about it. The other thing, peep, one guy uh, left a comment uh, asking about what was the, be the best. Yeah, what is the best melee weapon in the game? All I will say is that you will see. Just wait until the hospital. You die. Stomp you in the balls. Didn't lose too much ammo there. And it was worth it just for the satisfaction of it, wasn't it? Come on, you folks got some satisfaction out of that. Alright. Where are we going? The chemistry lab. What is in here? Damn. Alright. Well, I'll give you a hint. We got a library reserve key. So if you think the uh, door to my right will open if I were to click on it, you're wrong. It's not. It's going to be locked. See, so watch. Told ya. That's why you need to get the library reserve key so that you can use it here. No monsters? Huh. That kind of reminds me. Uh, not too long before I started playing this, I was actually watching the... Uh, Let's see, what was it? This Clive Barker movie, uh, Hellraiser. It's a pretty famous horror movie. I mean, not like Friday the 13th famous, but pretty famous. I'd never actually seen it before. And, you know, I always just kind of figured the, uh, like the pinhead guy you see on the cover, I always kind of figured he was like the monster that goes around and kills everyone. I didn't know anything about it. I just knew it was a famous horror movie. I was kind of surprised that he's actually Kinda one of the good guys. Kinda. I mean, he's not like a nice guy you would invite to a party, but, you know. Uh, spoiler alert, so put your fingers in your ears and, I don't know, shout out la 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 if you don't want to know this, but it's pretty old, so you've probably seen already if you want to. Uh, he only actually kills one guy, and it's the main villain right before he's about to stab the heroine. So, monster? Not really. Hearing this, the hunter armed with bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. Upon meeting his opponent, he held back, taunting, Who is afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. 
Then the huge creature attacked Jaws open wide. This is a clue to how you beat the boss. This was what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortlessly, the arrow flew through him. Here's a defense ma. Yeah, that's how you defeat the uh, boss. It's the second half. Second half? So second half of another story that I think is back here. Isn't it? I know it's the second half of a story. I can't remember if I've read it in the Let's Play. But basically, there's this lizard that's attacking people, and this guy's like, I'll go kill it. And then he does that way, and that's your hint to how you defeat the boss. Basically, I don't think I need the hint, because... I just shot it, like, the first time I played. A bunch. And it died. So, that's how I am killed it every other time. I've shot it a bunch. And that's probably how I'll kill it this time. I mean, I try any of my shots for when the mouth's open. Aha, uh -huh, you're on the other end of the other side of the wall, yeah. It's locked. Wait. I have the key, don't I? Yes. I guess it can only open this door of it, which is dumb. I never knew that, but it's still dumb. Gonna be monsters in here, I know it. Yeah, told ya. Get the camera around. Run! Oh, he did that dive. No, 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 no. Leave me alone, leave me alone. No ammo. Alright, that's not even the way I want to go, is it? Nope, it's not. Run, Harry. Thank you. Oh. I seem to be doing fine on the health. The old healthola. Ah, speaking of the old... The... No. I'm just not even going to bear repeating. See, I'm thrown off because I've already had like two sodas today. I'm trying to cut down my soda. So, for my drink I have next to me, it's a tall, frosty glass of milk. Mmm, milk. I do like milk. I'll just admit it. And you want to come back here? I knew it would be there. I could just sense it. Holy cow, that's a lot of bugs. Leave me alone, leave me alone. That is more bugs than I care to think about. But, like I said before, they really do no damage. It's ridiculous how little damage they do. I'll unlock that just because I can. And I'll unlock this because I need to go through it because I'm going to save because I do not trust hard mode at all and I think this boss will probably end up killing me at least once. So if I save here, I won't have that far to run. Alright, that didn't take us very long. Now, normally I usually fight this boss with uh, just... Drink it, Harry. Now I'm now I'm getting up there in the health items. Normally I fight this boss with pistol, but you well, know, I do still have a bunch of. I'll do it during the first part of the fight. The monster doesn't seem to open up its mouth a lot during the first stage of the fight, so I don't think it does it until a certain you've shot it a certain number of times. So I'll just pour lead into it with the handgun for a while. Then I'll switch over to the shotgun when I see it start opening its mouth. I don't know if it's just me who thinks that, but I'm almost certain there's like two stages to the fight. One where you just have to shoot it. A lot. I don't know, I've never actually looked up a guide on the subject. But it's been my uh, personal observations every time I've played this game. Ooh. How'd they get that in there? Like, am I the only one that's curious about it? Look at, look at that. It's gated on all sides. So, how'd they get the table in there? I'm just saying. Like this, they stuffed the disemboweled guy through the opening. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, there's, I mean, I know it's the other world, but... It doesn't give you permission to just throw out physics like that. 
All right, first time I played this game, this thing gave me no trouble whatsoever. I did it in like three moves. Every other time, it's taken me forever. So we'll see how well I do it this time. Basically, you can turn it left, and one of them... You can turn these left or right, and that will turn them either one way or the other. And then there's a valve on the left that makes the one on the right go twice, and the one on the left go once. And then vice versa with the one on the left. At least I think that's the way it works. Does it... Yeah, the one on the right goes twice. Alright. And then you can also stop turning the valve. So I'm going to see if this works. Problem is, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks as though I've done it. That wasn't too hard, now was it? It wasn't! Shut up. Well, it's an elevator. Alright, now if you guessed the boss was going to be a giant lizard, then congratulations. You successfully watched the first part of the video. Alright, I'm not really sure what the hell this is, like, at all, but, hell, this thing needs to die. See, it just sort of headbutts you for this part. You're gonna see it right there, yeah. See, later on, it'll start to try and bite you. I can't even see it. Run, Harry! Okay, it's running after me. Running away from that. Oh, it didn't do that much damage. I'm gonna regret those words! Okay. Run away, Harry. So as you saw there, it just sort of headbutted me. It didn't really try and bite me. Run! That was... Oh, that was close. I think I heard it open its mouth there, though. Which means I think it's gonna start trying to bite me. Which I think probably does way more damage. I've never actually been caught by the bite before. Okay, so we're gonna see if it does it here. Nope, it just tried to headbutt me, and it did, and it's gonna do it a second time here. Unless I'm very lucky. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. And now I'm probably. Holy cow! This is a boss! On hard mode, I expected this thing to kick my ass. Come on, open up your mouth, you stupid thing. Run, Harry! Ah, oh, he takes forever to... There is no quick turn in this game. At least I'm pretty sure there isn't. And it vexes me. What the hell? A little bit of warning. Luckily this thing does shit for damage. Run, Harry! Go! Oh, come on! That missed! You guys could see it. My game... I will admit, my uh, gameplay is going to be a little off today, because it is hot as hell in here. Well, maybe not quite that hot. Okay, start to open your mouth, dude. Oh, it's still headbutting me. There probably is some special thing you need to do to get it to start opening its mouth that I just never needed to look up before. Of course, on the other hand, the music's picking up here. I think that might be a good sign. Well, a good sign in so much as it's going to start to open its mouth at me. Bad in so much as it's going to eat me. Alright. Oh, shit. Run, Harry! That is not good at all. Yes, thank you. Because it wouldn't... 
Right, I told you this would happen, folks. It's because normally I tried to... I was backing up too much, and I thought I was going to run into the wall back there. That's why I tried to run away. Oh. Immediately loads you up here. That's nice, I guess. Although I do think this is the sort of thing that appears on your score at the end of the game. Well, not score, but it kind of gives you a scorecard. But frankly, I'm not really going to care about that. My, if you guys want me to care, I suppose I could, but it would just be a matter of me loading up that save from the uh, infirmary and walking back here. So for the purposes of a let's play, I don't see why you guys really would want to see that. Speaking of things you don't want to see, me running around shooting at this thing again. At least now I know that it's when the music picks up that I need to start trying to do it. It's annoying that that's a one-hit freaking kill move. Because I think as everyone knows by this point, there is one thing, there's one thing I hate in video games. It's one-hit freaking kill moves when you have a life bar. Run! Ah, uh, stop it. Stop nudging me. Such a jerk. I do kind of wonder who that guy on fire in the middle is. I don't really know, actually. Ha! Missed me, douchebag. Ah, here we go. When it's gonna start to get hard. Alright, first things first, reload that. Second thing second, get this done. I am so using the shotgun, it's not even funny because... Because no way I am gonna fight this thing for as long as it would take to kill it with a pistol. Hell with that, man. Okay, come on, open it! Fuck me. Oh, man. I am sweating like hell, partly because I'm scared out of my mind, and partly because it's so freaking hot! Die! Ha! Fuck. You! I got a shotgun, bitch! Oh. That deserves a swig of milk. You folks at home can take one too. Cheryl? Alright, now it's a bit dark. What was that? Who in the hell was that? What, you decided to stop talking? This is... A BOILER ROOM?! Yeah, that's the most surprise Harry Mason has shown about anything in this game so far. Not the giant lizard that tried to eat him, not the monster, it's not the disappearance of his daughter. No. HOLY SHIT! IT'S A BOILER ROOM! Whatever. Alright, how much... Oh, not bad. I wanted to run through a lot of handgun ammo there because we're going to find quite a bit of it here. And like I said, there's no point trying to kill the monsters out in the overworld sections. Oops. This is not the right way, is it? Oh no, it is, because we're in the basement. A church bell, maybe? Who's ringing that bell? What's wrong with that radio? The Balkan Church. Anyways, you can see there, we got the K. Gordon key. I guess that's who was on fire there, K. Gordon. Oddly enough, it says all these doors are unlocked. Luckily, no monsters here. Which is nice. I've never actually explored the school after, uh... Killed the guy. I do kind of wonder if maybe the items have respawned, but... Probably not. 
I don't understand why all the doors need to be unlocked now, though. That I don't get. Oh, well. That boss wasn't actually too difficult. Except for that one time when I died. That's only because it was a stupid one-hit kill move. As you can see, the bus isn't here anymore. Which is kind of odd. So obviously you need to get to that butt. Oh no, there it is! Alright, so you can get to it after the school. I didn't think you could. Oh well, learn something new every day. Anyway, so here's the area where I think we were going to before, but I said we didn't need to yet. Pretty sure I said that before we went into the school. And that was a while ago when I recorded that. A lot less monsters out here, which is nice. In case you're wondering, over here, you probably know what you're gonna find. But, yeah. Department of Transportation really needs to get out here. That's all I'm saying. Oh, hell. Get out of the way. Oh, man. Oh, those stupid dogs. Get out of the way. He's gonna get me again. They get right in front of you. Those dogs piss me off to no end. They've got this field around them that you can't get past. You don't just push them out of the way. Anyway, so we didn't come here before because we need the K. Gordon key. Oh well, it just cost me a uh, health drink, and I don't think I need to worry about it. Oh, I was about to say I didn't need to worry about it because I was going to get another one. There's handgun ammo there. By the way, this house probably looks familiar. It's exactly the same as the one we got to before on Levin Street. Except slightly different items and the pads over here. Alright. Big Coke bottle there. And let's see. Nothing useful. No, it's true enough, I guess. Let's watch some TV. Ah. I want to see if Diagnosis Murder is on. Alright. Let's do it! So, now we're in the new area. Yay! Let's just, uh, head straight up to the church. I'm sure nothing will block our path. Ah, damn it. It's almost like I knew that was going to happen. So as you can see, yeah, that way is just completely blocked off. So we'll have to head down to Bradbury and just hope that uh, that'll take us over without any giant gaps in the road. Oh man, it's so stupid flying guys. Leave me alone. I don't love you anymore. Never loved you. I think you need to go up that uh, alleyway. I'm gonna check by just running down to the end of the street here and seeing if it cuts off. Yep, it does. Alright folks, so when you're playing if you're playing along with me at home, you cannot go that way. You do have to go down this alley. Oh, that was a nice dodge! That was by accident! <laughs> Oh, of course it lands right there. Come on, baby. If I can get out of this without getting hit. Oh! Oh, of course. This right here. 
This is a chain. There is a chainsaw. There is no gasoline. I'm gonna get hit by this dog just to show you the freaking chainsaw. Oh, I didn't get hit. Go figure. Anyway, that's where the chainsaw is, folks. But you can only get it after you've beaten the game and can get the gasoline. You can either get that or another item, which I'll show you later. In my mind, the chainsaw still isn't really as good as uh, the other weapon I was talking about we're going to get in the hospital. Just, I mean, chainsaws, yeah, they're cool. But you haven't seen the item we're going to get in the hospital. And that's not a special weapon. I mean, this is a freaking regular weapon that you get. That's And it's still freaking hardcore, man. Still not gonna... Well, yeah, still not gonna bother with the Balkan Church. I'm gonna head down here, see what we can see. Oh, man. Alright, never mind. Guess we are going to the church. Well, you don't look evil. I suppose that's kind of a spoiler, unless you've done something like, oh, I don't know, looked at her! Were you ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. It was foretold by Gyromancy. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? <laughs> I knew you'd come. That's what she said. You want the girl, right? I'm gonna the go girl? there. You're talking about Cheryl. I see everything. I see dead people. You know something. Tell me. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. That's what she said. You must follow the path. The path of the hermit concealed by flowers. What? What are you talking about? Here, the flowers, a cage of peace. It can break through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. Thieves will Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Don't have to tell me twice, lady. Wait, don't go yet. Alright, I suppose that was kind of spoilers, but freaking look at her. Like, even the very first time I played this game, I'm like, oh, well, she is blatantly evil. She couldn't have been more evil if she was freaking cackling like the witch from Hansel and Gretel. It won't open. It must be locked from the other side. Picture on the wall. Nothing special. Oh, artist probably worked hard on that, Harry Mason. Don't be a douche. Bible. Just nothing else to say, just Bible. Well, what else is there to say, I guess? Now, I don't want to take the flowers since that one lady told me to take it, and she is blatantly evil! But I'll take it anyway, because it's the only way to get the key, which I need. Who was playing this game and thought, well, that's probably a nice old lady. I'm sure she'll be friendly. Look at her! You actually thought that she was well-intentioned the first time you played this? You are one of the most naive people on the planet. Seriously. Look at her! I mean, when Chancellor Palpatine made his entrance in, like, Return of the Jedi, you probably thought, oh, well, he's one of the good guys, certainly. You know. 
It's getting off the freaking shuttle. You're like, oh, he's a friendly sod. Anyway. Here's another area you might end up missing. Much like the, uh... Convenience store. Now, here's one of the things that annoys me. Some oil cans are on the shelf. Let's... Yeah. I mean... Give me a second. I need to get this before I can find. Freaking take the oil can! I mean, use it on the freaking thing. You know, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the chainsaw! Like, why doesn't he just take one? No, I mean, you gotta, you gotta play the game with the special gasoline. You can't just take that gasoline. I mean, well, I don't get it. Anyway, doesn't matter. We got the handgun ammo. That's what we came here for. It's really not worth it. Unless, uh... Well, you can actually get the gasoline from there. Which I can't. That was quite a dodge, actually, to be fair. I was impressed with that. And you can see we have bridge control room coming up, which is why we needed that, uh... key. But before we go there... It would be awesome if you could shoot those, like, gas pumps and just explode the entire station and kill the dog. But I don't think that actually works. And anyway, before we do that, we're gonna come back here and get attacked by the dog. And hopefully it'll leave us alone long enough to get this, and this. And it's going to attack us again. Yes, thank you, Mr. Dog. And it ran back behind the thing. Running out of healing drinks, but we got plenty of first aid kits. And I am very much not worried about the next dungeon. Unless hard mode has done something inexcusable, like make the enemies faster. I should be able to get through the next area, no problem. And I will tell you why when we get there. And that guy seems to have gotten stuck on the staircase. So I'll just go in here. Other item, other item you can get with the gasoline. There's a rock drill. There's no gasoline, can't use it. Again, you need to beat the game. I don't remember what you need to beat it. I think maybe it's easy mode and get the bad end. I don't know. Something like that. Maybe the bad ending gets you the katana sword. I don't remember. Point is, you have to get one of the endings or beat it on one of the modes. It's a special weapon. Go figure how you get it. I'm not here to tell you guys everything. Go play the game yourself. It's not that bad. A little dated, but, you know, still solid. And the graphics aren't that great anymore, and... Look, control's a little rough, but, you know. Anyway, we got the next map, as you can see there. Now we're saving again, because I have a saving habit. Luckily, this game does not, uh, well, it actually kind of does grade you on how many times you save, but it won't jip you out of a good ending for it. Yeah, well, use the freaking key labeled DRAWBRIDGE KEY, HARRY! No, I'll do everything. Yes, I want to press the switch. At least we don't have any stupid puzzle this time around. Alright. Let's giddy up. 